It's a gamble. We've took the chance and I don't think we'll regret it. It's just something different. It's a journey. Things were never happening here. I see as many good players here that seem to get nowhere. It is a big step down, but you take a gamble in life and hope they come off. We're down to the west of Scotland, fourth division, tier six to tier 10, so we're back to scratch. People don't understand what the, the method is, isn't it? but we've got to start somewhere, bottom of the ladder, and then work your way back up again. Thieves Rovers are, are a well-known club in, in the south of Scotland, and many great successes. Done well in Scottish Cup ties, won, won a few leagues and all that, but when you win the league and you're in tier six, you, you go into the playoffs to get up into the lowland. We were playing the top teams in the playoffs. We didn't feel we were going to get anywhere by doing that, winning the South of Scotland Championship. My name's David McVitie, chairman of Three Rovers Football Club. The South of Scotland was always seemed to be that wee bit of an island, if you like. Everybody was staying away from it. It doesn't become stale, but to attract a player nowadays, you've got to have a plan. So we just made the move. As long as we win the league this season, nobody can complain. I'm Lewis Sloan, I'm 35, I play central midfield for three Rovers. The fact they were going to West League was exciting, thinking about the journey that they could possibly be going on. It's really a building process. It'll take us years to get up amongst the Aachen Lakes and Cumnox and teams like that. My name's Nelson Cochran, I'm 80 years old. I've been involved with the club for 60-odd years. We want to try and build the club up in the west of Scotland and make a name for ourselves. So that's what it's all about, making a name for ourselves. The plan is obviously to, to, to try and get out of the fourth division, you know. We've won quite comfortably so far, but things can change. A massive game the day with Kilsyth, they're in the same points as us. It'll be our biggest game thus far this season. It's halfway to promotion. We're hoping we can do the business. I think playing against the different teams always helps with that more of a buzz round about the place. Well, if you look at the West and the juniors, bigger crowds. The gate shop, you know, that's, that's obviously where new teams coming to Meadow Park. Can then attract higher standard of players again. The club means a lot to the town. Everybody works, and that's what you've got to have at a club. Well, they're in the line today. <laughs> West of Scotland League, you've got to register your linesman. So I'm registered. <laughs> it's all voluntary. You know, without that, you, could, you wouldn't have a club. No committee, no club. If we don't win this league, it wouldn't be a successful season. We need to make progression quickly. We need to get back up. It'll be hard. Oh, it's really hard. Why does the team want to go from tier six to tier 10? At the end of the day, the club has a plan, and if that plan comes off, then three will be back at tier six. Now, we might sacrifice five, six years for that, I don't know. But if that's the case, then that, that's what it will be, you know? Yeah.